Warning, due to YouTube's content restrictions, you can see this video in full on our uncensorable Odyssey channel at video.freekeen.com. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, being at that it's 3.30, I have got to open up the hearing on House Bill 1195, an act related to the public comment periods. No, wait, I'm sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> Just forgot what I just said. That's a bill I got to go testify on. Okay, uh, I'm going to open up the Constitution Amendment uh, on Resolution uh, 32, and it's in the state peaceably declares independence from the United States and proceeds as a sovereign nation. And I'm going to welcome my friend, Representative Mike Sylvia, to testify. Boys, right. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, committee members. For the record, I'm Mike Sylvia, uh, representing Belknap 6 down in Belmont. Happy to be here today, my first time in your committee. We're here today to see if our legislature will allow a question to be put to the voters of New Hampshire. Should New Hampshire peaceably declare its independence from the U.S. federal government? Some believe that this is a laughable question. Do they fear the answer? Some believe that the question of independence has been settled. If so, then our state's sovereignty has been stolen. In my path to liberty, I have learned that our state was created by the people in 1784. Prior to forming our government, in part second of our Constitution, the people reserved to themselves the rights of the people in part first. Our Constitution places the Bill of Rights the rights of the people above and before the establishment of government. <clears throat> Part 1st, Article 7 reads, the people of this state have the sole and exclusive right of governing themselves as a free, sovereign, and independent state. And do, and forever hereafter shall, exercise and enjoy every power, jurisdiction, and right pertaining thereto which is not or may not hereafter be by them expressly delegated to the United States of America in Congress Assembly. The United States at the time was under the Articles of Confederation. In 1789, the first peaceful revolution in America disposed of the Articles of Confederation and formed a new government under our current U.S. Constitution. Remember, the people of our state reserve to themselves every power, not expressly delegated. Disposing of our state's sovereignty was never allowed. For the federal, now national, government to consider the state of New Hampshire to be nothing more than the local office for the District of Columbia is to destroy the independence of our great state. While the people reserve to themselves the right to revolution, part first, article 10, we are here today to head off any consideration of anything but a peaceful formation of a new government, independent of rule from Washington, D.C. Today, we will ask our legislature to allow the people of New Hampshire to express their desire by putting the question on the ballot this November. And with that, I have a lot of supporters who will tell you all of the various reasons why this CACR needs to be on the ballot in November. And if you have a question for me, I'd be happy to answer. Thank you, Representative. We have a good pile of pink cards here. I'm looking forward to hear your testimony. And you will take questions. Um, I have one and maybe a couple follow-ups in there. Um, there may be others. Uh, presumably, you no longer recite the Pledge of Allegiance because that pledge does refer to one nation indivisible. Is, is that correct? That is not correct. So, so you do still say the Pledge of Allegiance? I do not. I have a belief in a higher power that does not allow me to pledge to some other authority. 
Okay, th thank you. Did, did you know that over 4,000 New Hampshire men died or were killed in Civil War fighting mm -hmm. to preserve our Union and that uh, thousands more were wounded? And some of the regimental colors here at the State House uh, still have there's blood stain from that conflict. Do you think that this CACR does their memory or their service a, a, a disservice? I think it actually does them an actual honor. If they were here to see what has become of Washington, D.C., and the lack of freedom that we have as a result here in New Hampshire, I think they'd be horrified. I think they'd be very proud of this group of supporters here that push to have this brought to the legislature and to the people of New Hampshire. Thank you. One more follow-up. In 2018, Free Keen teamed up with LBRY.com to back up our YouTube. Libraries already protected more than one video that YouTube took down. Now in 2021, our YouTube's been given a ridiculous strike for a 15-second promo from 2011 for harmful or dangerous content. Library doesn't have strikes or any way to take down videos. Our days are numbered on YouTube. Get the app at LBRY.com or follow our channel on Library's new platform, Odyssey, at video.freekeen.com.